Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. For more than a month, mobs of violent, crazy people have roamed this country, terrorizing citizens and destroying things. No one has stopped them from doing that, so they've continued and they've become stronger. Politicians now cower before the mob. Corporate America mouths their slogans. The education cartel, enforced on your children, enforces their demands. Police officers, emasculated and restrained, watch it all from the sidelines, unable to help. For weeks we've asked, who will stand up for this country? And the answer we're learning is Americans. Americans will. It's up to them. Well, real people suffer. Well, Patricia and Mark McCloskey are real people. They live in St. Louis. On Sunday, the McCloskeys sat in their backyard together having dinner. Suddenly, as they ate, a mob of hundreds of screaming people destroyed a wrought iron gate with a no trespassing sign on it and came pouring in, moving toward them quickly. The McCloskeys were terrified. They'd watched as mobs looted and burned and assaulted citizens around the country. This mob was clearly intent on violence. They said so. When Mark McCloskey told them to leave, the mob threatened to murder him and his wife. Then they threatened to kill the family's dog. Panicked, the McCloskeys called the police. Then they called the neighborhood security patrol, but no one came. They had no choice to protect themselves. They went inside and got their, yes, legally registered firearms. It worked. Met finally by citizens who dared defend themselves, the mob retreated and melted away.